Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Brody. Welcome to Teaser Tuesday. This is a little experiment I'm trying out where every Tuesday I'm going to read a little teaser from one of my upcoming books. So um, because A Week of Mondays is coming out in, I don't know, two weeks, like very soon, I thought I would read you a quick passage from A Week of Mondays this week. So um, in this scene, uh, this is the second Monday, so uh, in case you don't know, A Week of Mondays is about a girl who has to relive the same horrible Monday over and over and over until she gets it right. So in this scene, this is the second Monday and she's just starting to figure out that everything is repeating itself and that she might actually be living the same day over again. And what she does is she rushes into the counseling office uh, where she meets with her guidance counselor to kind of dump all of this panic and emotion out on him that she's experiencing now that she's figuring out that she might be either stuck in the same Monday or going a little crazy. Um, so this is that scene. Hello, you must be Ellison. His voice is just as annoyingly chirpy as it was yesterday, or today, or whatever. Great to see ya, just real swell. I'm Mr. Goodman, but you can call me Mr. Greatman if you want. He guffaws at his own joke and then swats it away with his hand. Just joshing ya. So, how you doing? You holding up okay? I sigh dramatically and launch into my story. No, I'm not. Not at all. Look, I really need to talk to someone, and you're the closest thing this school has to a shrink. You see, this morning I woke up and it was yesterday. I mean, it was today. But it was the same day as yesterday. I've been reliving the same Monday twice. And I don't mean that every day feels like a Monday. I mean, it's the exact same day. Down to the stupid red light ticket I got. And I don't know what's happening to me, but I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the ibuprofen I took last night that may or may not have been ibuprofen because I saw this documentary once about ibuprofen that's not really ibuprofen. And I thought, what if my bottle of ibuprofen is one of those bottles that's not really ibuprofen? Because who knows how long I've had that bottle in my medicine cabinet. I don't know how long it takes for ibuprofen to turn into meth. And it's not like I take a lot of ibuprofen. I'm not one of those hypochondriacs who think she's dying all the time or that every headache is a brain tumor. But I do take ibuprofen occasionally because, you know, everyone has headaches. But I think whatever was in that bottle is causing some sort of crazy chemical reaction in my brain. I mean, it's totally possible that today doesn't really exist, that I'm not really here, that I'm sitting in a comatose state in my room dreaming this whole thing up. But I don't know. Do you feel real? I pause and suck in a huge breath. I think I just used up all the oxygen in the school. Mr. Goodman blinks hard at me. He takes his glasses off and gives his eyes a rub. I stare at him expectantly, waiting for his words of wisdom, waiting for him to tell me that what I'm going through is perfectly normal. In fact, in this month alone, he's seen three kids with the exact same problem. Well, Mr. Goodman begins, returning his glasses to his face, this is a very interesting, um, dilemma you're facing. A real toughie. He swivels around in his chair and faces the giant display of pamphlets on the back wall. He scans them with his index finger, plucking an orange one from the bottom row and sliding it across the desk to me. This should do the trick. Another pamphlet? I ask incredulously. Have I given you one before? He asks. I sigh and pick up the brochure. This one reads, Saying No to Drugs, A Guide for Teens. So that was uh, my teaser from A Week of Mondays. If you want to see more teasers, tune in every Tuesday for Teaser Tuesday, where I will be reading from some of my upcoming books before they release. So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday, and I will see you next week.